Hello, and welcome to the University of Wyoming Beta Alpha Size Accounting Help videos. In this video, we will compare the conventional cost and retail method of inventory valuation. This problem is exercise 9-20B from the internet version of the KISO book, Intermediate Accounting. In this problem, we are looking at Tom's Boutique and his inventory records. We have beginning inventory for sales price and cost. We also have purchases, purchase returns, sales, sales returns, markups, markdowns, and markdown cancellations. The problem asks us to compute the ending inventory by the conventional retail inventory method. Our first step in this problem is to create columns for cost and retail method of inventory. Next, we add in the beginning inventory under each method. The cost method is $60,000, which comes from the beginning inventory at cost. The retail method is $93,000, which, which comes from the beginning inventory at sales price. Next, we add in the purchases. The purchases for the cost method are at cost. The purchases under the retail method are at the sales price of the inventory. Next, we subtract out purchase returns. These work the same way as purchases, only backwards. This is the amount of inventory that we decided to send back to the manufacturer. Next, we add in the freight on the purchase into the cost method. We only add it to the cost method because it is already taken into account in the sales price under the retail method. Finally, we total up those inventory columns. For the cost method, we have $154,000 in inventory, and the retail method, we have $266,000 in inventory. Our next step is to convert this inventory to a usable ratio. We bring down the numbers from step one, add in the markups to the retail method only. This is because the markups are only taken into account the sales price of the items. Next, we subtract out the markup cancellations as a reversal of prior markups that were not used. Again, we total up these columns. So now our cost method is still $154,000 and our retail method is $283,000. Next, we are going to solve for the cost to retail ratio. This ratio will be used later in the problem to estimate the inventory at cost. For this ratio, we take the inventory at cost divided by the inventory at retail. We use those numbers from our previous slide. $154,000 for inventory at cost and $283,000 for inventory at retail. This gives us a cost to retail ratio of 54.42%. To finish computing the retail amount of inventory, we move to step four. In this step, we take our total inventory from step two, which was $283,000. We subtract out the markdowns. We also add the markdown cancellations. In effect, the adding of markdown cancellations is a reversal of markdowns that we did not take. We total this column to come up with $270,000. Finally, for step five, we take our total after markdowns. Next, we subtract out our net sales. Our net sales are $204,000 minus the $4,000 in sales returns. This gives us a number of $200,000. The total of that is the ending inventory at retail, $70,000. Next, we take the cost to retail ratio that we calculated in step three of 54.42%. We multiply this by the $70,000. This gives us an ending inventory at cost of $38,094. Again, it's the $70,000 times 54.42%. When using this method, $38,094 is only an estimation of the ending inventory at cost. We use the ratio from cost to retail in order to estimate the ending inventory when the ending inventory is unknown. This problem has been narrated by Chris, was written by Jesse and Jeff from the University of Wyoming Beta Alpha Psi Delta Alpha chapter. Thank you.